In today's episode, I visit an iconic cabman's shelter and have the best egg and bacon roll in London. I take a trip out to Greenwich and visit the famous Cutty Sark. And my last job of the day ends on a high. Terminal 3. Good morning, you crazy cats. It's July the 1st, and we're going out on the streets of London to see what the streets have to offer us today. Um, busy week this week. It has been busy. Big news, Euros. England is still in it. They um, grasped victory from the jaws of defeat last night. Helped on! And it's in! Um, elections this week. There's a lot going on in London. They're on Thursday. But it's a Monday. We're going to see what we get out on the streets of London. Come with me. Coffee first. And we'll take it from there. So before I get going, I like to check the back of the cab, make sure everything's clean for the customers, which is important. Make sure the floor's clean. All the seats are in good condition. Before you get going, you've got to make sure that your vehicle looks good and is in tip-top condition for the customers. The front's okay. That's checked all the time by me and we can get going. So like I said, coffee first, and then I'm just gonna be working off the one app today, taxi app, the non-commission app run by taxi drivers, owned by taxi drivers, we'll be doing that, because Free now blocked me again. Not because I was canceling rides, they blocked me because of a low acceptance rate. So you've gotta have an acceptance rate of 60% when you use the Free now app as a London taxi driver. Um, so every job they throw at you, you've got to have a 50-50, well, a little bit over chance of saying, yeah, I've got to accept it wherever it is, wherever the driving is. So they blocked me for five days and I didn't turn the app back on and it's been absolutely fine. Getting all my work off the street and off taxi app. And I think I'm getting it quicker because I don't even have to pay the 18% commission. If you keep going down that road, there will be no black cab drivers on your platform. Okay, forget about them. Let's get out and find our own work. Right, this is in situ. Um, the meet is going on. Overall, it's been fairly busy in town recently since I had all my crazy shenanigans going on in June. What with the hospital and the traveling and the getting back and all of that, things have settled down now. So I've got myself back into a very good work routine. A few bits of breaking news concerning the euros and black taxis black taxis are not allowed to fly england flags on top of their vehicles or out of their windows because it's deemed as a distraction and unsafe by transport for london and the mayor of london so you drivers out there let me know what you think about this it does seem a little bit petty doesn't it i mean taking the choice away to fly a flag it's always happened before and we do see lots of flags from other nations being flown out of windows in cars at the weekend during protests anyway enough of that let me know what you think about that in the comments below no england flags flying out of black taxis in london hi just off golden road please oh just off golden yeah, road it's yeah it's a terrace but not many cab drivers oh there. Okay, first job of the day, Ford Shepherds Bush Green, Comply Holland Park Roundabout, lead by Holland Park Avenue, left Royal Crescent, left St Anne's Villas, Ford St Anne's Road. St Anne's Road conveniently turns into Bramley Road and we're gonna keep on heading north. And now we're looking for a right turn. Will I go Cambridge Gardens? No, I decided to go Oxford Gardens. Took my right onto Oxford Gardens, which is coming up just about now. Went straight to the end. It's going to be a left onto Labour Grove, right onto Chesterton Road, and right into St Lawrence Terrace. Okie dokie, first job of the day. Shepherd's Bush Green to St Lawrence Terrace off Goldbourne Road. Um, netted me £10.80. So I am £10.80 more richer than I was 10 minutes ago. From here, back down Labour Grove, and then Westbourne Grove, because I think that's probably the more likely place I'm going to pick something up on the street. However, before I landed my second job, I thought I'd show you the cabman shelter around the corner and grab a bite to eat. I decided to come to one of the iconic green cabman shelters. This one's on Kensington Park Road. Let's see what they're gonna offer up today. It's a fantastic place to visit. Come along and support these places. You can't sit inside, but they'll sell you food from the outside. Everyone is welcome. 
Only 13 of these Kapmang shelters still exist and date back from 1875. They were built for hackney carriage drivers, a place where cab drivers could go eat and drink and stay out of the cold. All members of the public are welcome to purchase food from the hatch, but they can't sit inside unless they're a London taxi driver. Click on the link above to watch a previous episode I did about these iconic structures. Now take a look at that. You're not <laughs> going to get a better egg and bacon roll in London. Fantastic. Okay, after that break, back to work. So I headed down Eastbourne Terrace towards Paddington. All right, okay, so I'm just making my way up Parade Street. Lots of people waiting for cabs here. This is not the rank, so um, I don't know who's next. <clears throat> I, uh, all right, I don't know who's next, all right. Oxford Street. Oxford Street, yeah. So for the second job, Ford Parade Street right into London Street. A little bit of traffic at the lights here. Both of those lights are turning green. We're going to cross over Sussex Gardens, go into Sussex Place, and find mini roundabout left to Strahan Place. Ford High Park Square, and by roundabout, turn a right into High Park Street, then a left onto Bayswater Road. Jump into that bus lane on the left, that's going to save us a bit of time. Get to the lights, they're on red, wait for them to turn green, comply Marble Arch. And then go forward onto Oxford Street. 400 Oxford Street is Selfridges, and we'll set that down on the left. Thanks very much. Hi there. Oh, hi. Oh, you'll have to. Sorry? Oh, yeah, jump in, yeah. I will to Regent Street. Okay, I'll get you to Regent Street, yeah. Okay, I can pick up here on Oxford Street, no cabs behind me on the Selfridges right. Very easy run this one, just go forward Oxford Street. We're only going to do one turn and that's going to be the turn when we get to Oxford Circus. So finally, when I get a green light at Oxford Circus, taxis can turn right here. I sit down on the left. Right, two jobs back to back there. Parade Street to 400 Oxford Street, which is Selfridges, I know that. If you ever get a job, 400 Oxford Street, it's Selfridges. And then I dropped up there past the rank on the left and then someone jumped in and wanted to go to Regent Street just further down on the right. Um, you need to check your mirror if you pick up there to make sure that there's no one on the rank. Uh, there wasn't. So um, I just carried on and took the customer down to Regent Street. Jobs number two and three complete. Heading down Regent Street now, we'll probably do a right into Conduit Street and see what we get from there. Decided to rank up outside the Connaught Hotel, went through Barclay Square. There's a small rank outside. There was one cab on it. I think he's just about to get a job actually. So then I'll be on point. Um, you're going to King's Cross train station. Okay, no problem. Let's get you there. Okay, so these ladies told me they were going to King's Cross and I asked them where are they traveling to when they get to King's Cross and they said Wimbledon, they're going to the tennis. It's then I pointed out to them they need to go to Victoria Station if they want to go to Wimbledon. So it was U-turn time on Bruton Street and back towards Barclay Square. From Barclay Square we headed down Barclay Street hit the lights of Barclay Street um, and I was still explaining to them that they do not need to go to King's Cross to get to Wimbledon. They were very thankful that they're going to the right station anyway. So right on to Piccadilly and we're head towards Hyde Park Corner. Drift into that left lane, up the ramp, comply Hyde Park Corner. Now the park was closed for changing of the guard, which means only one thing. Grosvenor Place and Lower Grosvenor Place will be chock a block with traffic. So it's a case of toughing it out and ebbing your way slowly down towards Buckingham Palace and waiting in anticipation for that right turn. So the right turn comes onto Buckingham Palace Road. Stay at the lights here, they're red, they will turn green, drop off on left. There you go folks. So just, just turn left there okay. and that will get you to where you need to go. Just as I was driving them up through Barclay Square, I said, um, where are you actually going? Because they didn't look like they were going up north. And they said, we're going to Wimbledon. And I went, oh, I think you need to go to Victoria Station. So quick U-turn back to Victoria Station. A couple of American ladies, they were lovely. And um, yeah, they're off to watch the tennis. 
hopefully they'll have a fantastic day. Oh, right, the hotel up there is calling me. The doorman is waving. Let's see what we've got here. Job number five is coming. Will it be an airport? It'll probably be Wimbledon. We Hi. have a guest going somewhere with, with the luggage, it's okay? Yeah, 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 that's no problem, yeah. You. Okay, a guest going somewhere with luggage. Off we go. Well, this was going to be an adventure. I'm off to Greenwich towards the Cutty Sark because that's where they need to be dropped off. So, Ford Buckingham Palace Road left Elizabeth Bridge. Down Elizabeth Bridge, over to the lights and through the lights onto St George's Drive. Going to take us all the way down to Looper Street. Going to do a left onto Looper Street, past the green cabman's shelter on the left, then forward Drum and Gate. Forced right out here onto Vauxhall Bridge Road. Two or three sets of lights and finally we're over Vauxhall Bridge. Comply Vauxhall Cross, lead by Kennington Lane. Forward and bare left Kennington Lane all the way up to the lights at Kennington Road. And there was plenty of traffic at the two sets of lights to get me across Kennington Road. At the junction of Kennington Road, you've got Cleaver Square on the right, which incidentally was where Charlie Chaplin was born. There's a blue plaque there, you can check it out. So forward Kennington Lane, we're gonna jump up into the bus lane on the left as we make our way through the Elephant and Castle. Now this is a bit of a spaghetti junction. You've got to make sure you're in the right lane there. And when I say the right lane, I mean the correct lane. So leave by the New Kent Road, use that bus lane, get as much out of it as you can, and then forward Bricklayer's Arms flyover. The flyover will then lead you right into the Old Kent Road. We're heading east here towards Greenwich, so it's quite a run, about 7.5 miles. Oh, and the reason we're going to the Cuddy Sark is because I have two ladies from America who are going to jump on the Viking Cruise Line there. So, left from Old Kent Road onto St. James's Road, bear right, rock the high, new road. Follow that round, bear round to the right, and then right onto the Ilderton Road. Follow Ilderton Road over the bridge, past Millwall, and then a left onto Surrey Canal Road. And from here, just keep going forward, then left and right. Grinstead Road, past all the new developments on the right, they've really changed, and then a right onto Evelyn Street. Right, we're eating up the miles, we're getting there now, the home run is in sight. So keep going forward Evelyn Street, and then Evelyn Street will change and morph into Creek Road. And Creek Road is your final road before you land in Greenwich. Coming up to Greenwich now, past the new developments on the left and the right, can't really get in that bus lane on my left. And from here, we'll just keep on ebbing forward with this traffic. And that bus lane helped me out. Left onto Greenwich Church Street. And we've arrived at the Cutty Star. Lots of people, as you can see in front, welcoming the guests for Viking Cruise Lines. Okay, that was job number five, Buckingham Palace Road to the Cutty Sark, Greenwich. Uh, the Cutty Sark being the location where the Viking Cruise leaves from. These two ladies were going to the Viking Cruise uh, taking them to Dover and then onwards. So that was a very good job actually. Um, and another thing, it's very helpful when you get here because there's lots of people from the cruise line waiting for the passengers to get on and they help them out with the luggage. So it's very well organized. And now I'm in Greenwich. Uh, what do I do from here? Head back into town. From here, decisions to make, which part of London do I head back to? Well, I kind of reversed the way I came, but I headed up towards Surrey Keys and made my way to the Jamaica Road heading towards Tower Hill, hit Druid Street, and then landed on the rank of the Shard. Okay, ranked up at the Shard, London's tallest building. Um, Shangri-La Hotel is inside. The rank seems to be moving. There's three taxis in front of me. So I'll hang about here and hopefully I'll get something heading west um, and that'll get me back into the soup. Okay, on point outside the Shard for a passenger. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. Uh, Turner Street, uh, Garrod Building. <laughs> well, I didn't get anything going west. I got something going east. So forward St. Thomas Street, left Borough High Street. You turn because we've got to get back over London Bridge. So forward London Bridge, just buses and taxis here. So it's always empty. And then I took a right into East Cheap 
Left into Phil Pot Lane, smallest statue in London on the right, little mice, right on to Fenchurch Street. A few roadworks ahead, had to wait to the lights. Um, carry on through Fenchurch Street, that's going to morph into Oldgate High Street. The road system around here has seriously changed over the last few years, and I still have to keep reminding myself of those new changes. So I'm fairly familiar with it now, but Ford White Chapel High Street. Getting through the lights here, going to wait for a right turn onto Commercial Road. Keep going on Commercial Road, use the bus lane when I can, and Turner Street is going to be up here on my left. I set these people down on the left next to the university. Job number six, um, the Shard to Turner Street E1. So I'm getting pushed back east again, and I wanted to get west, but hey ho, it happens like that. Um, not a bad little job. Um, and now I'm going to try and get back west again. So let's see how far I get before I probably get another job east. I U-turned from Turner Street, did a right onto the commercial road, bare left into Ailey, left into Lehman Street, then did a right onto Prescott Street. Hi. Harry's restaurant, please. Harry's? Harry's. Oh, Harry's in Mayfair. Yeah, That's okay. The one. Okay. So I'd got my job west, right into Mansell Street. Keep going Mansell Street, four on the left, some Bottle Street. Four Duke's Place, bare right into Beavis Marks, Ford Camomile Street, and then it's going to be Ford Wormwood Street until we break over into the London Wall. Now, traffic was really building up here, so I was thinking, hang on, this is a bit strange. What's going on? Well, London Wall up front was closed. So, as a result, all the traffic was being forced right into Moorgate. As you can see, the signs up ahead are not letting any traffic through, and I had no choice but to do a right into Moorgate, and all of a sudden, my route in my head was changing. So, you've got to think on your feet, left rope maker, right into Moor Lane, left at the top into Chisel Street, go past the Barbican on the left, and that's going to turn into Beak Street. Go straight ahead until we hit the lights at the end. All I'm thinking here is just get to Holborn. So forward long lane, right into East Poultry Avenue, left to Charterhouse Street. Temporary lights here, wait for the traffic to come in the opposite direction. Forward Charterhouse Street, wait for the lights that are going to give me a right turn onto Holborn. Jump into that bus lane, if that's going to keep me moving. And then forward High Holborn. Now, the road's being changed up here. There's a cycle lane going in on the left, so things are holding the traffic up a little bit more than they used to be. Crossed over the Kingsway, just to keep going on High Holborn, bearing left until we hit the lights, and Shaftesbury Avenue is in front of us, so bear left onto Shaftesbury Avenue. All the way heading west, past the Palace Theatre on the right, down Shaftesbury Avenue, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get into Mayfair using Great Windmill Street. So, my right turn takes me up onto Great Wimble Street. Everything is going well here, Lexington Street, left into Beak Street. Well, I was in for a surprise when I got to Harry's in South Audley Street, because they actually wanted Harry's in Knightsbridge, behind Harrods. Well, I thought they said Harry's Mayfair. From here I'm going down Conduit Street, heading towards Barclay Square. I'll go down there, comply Barclay Square, lead by Hill Street and do a right into South Audley Street and then they will deliver me the bad news telling me that I've arrived at the wrong Harry's. I'm sure they said Harry's Mayfair. Harry's Mayfair. Uh, Harry's Mayfair, yeah. Okay, do I, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I just carried on the journey down Hyde Park Corner through Knightsbridge. These things happen from time to time. There's plenty of Harry's in London and customers and myself can often get them mixed up. So we're going through Knightsbridge, past Harrods, up to the left, and then we'll just do a left into the Hands Road. Follow that all the way round to Harry's Dolce Vita in Knightsbridge, behind Harrods. Well, that was one of those jobs that um, didn't end up how I thought it was. I'm sure she said Harry's Mayfair which is where I took them, from Prescott Street to Harry's Mayfair. Anyway, it wasn't. It was Harry's Knightsbridge, she said, once we got to the Mayfair branch, the one behind Harrods. No problem, just did a U-turn and then carried them on down to Harry's and Knightsbridge. It's just a straightforward extended journey, basically. Anyway, 
they got to where they wanted to go and that's job number seven done. Okay, there's only one place I'm heading from there, right down Sloan Street into Sloan Square, and I'm ranking up. Hi. What's the new station? Okay, no problem. Thank right, you, right, darling. Okay. Yep. Okay, off to Waterloo Station from the front of the rank. I'm going to do a left lower Sloan Street, left into Holborn Mews, and then right into Holborn Place. Go to the end, left onto the Pimlico Road, past the Orange Tree on the right, a fantastic little pub. Wait at the light, and then it's going to be forward every beach, fly roundabout, leave by Warwick Way. Now, things are a lot easier going down here now. They've taken away all the plastic bollards, so the traffic is now two-way. So I can just keep going until I hit the lights at the end, and then it's over onto Rochester Road, which is always pretty empty going in this direction. Leave by Greycock Place, and then forward Great Peter Street. I don't know who that's named after. Obviously, someone called Peter but let me know in the comments below. Do a right onto the mill bank after these temporary lights, comply mill bank roundabout, leave by Lambeth Bridge, comply Lambeth Bridge roundabout, leave by Lambeth Palace Road. That was Lambeth Palace on the right at the start of the street. So forward onto Westminster Bridge Road and then it's a right turn into the station approach. Follow that all the way around and we will set neatly down on the left. You're up the door. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Okay, job number eight done. That's um, Sloan Square to Waterloo Station via Lambeth Brig. So job number eight done. Let's see if we can do a couple more jobs. Probably from here, I'll head up to the um, Westminster Park Plaza, see if there's anything happening. Hi, can you take us to Victoria Station? Yeah, sure, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Quick U-turn, this run is going to get me back over Westminster Bridge and into the soup again. Okay, forward Westminster Bridge Road, way to the lights, bear round to the right, forward Westminster Bridge, Big Ben on the left inside the clock tower. Way to the lights here, forward Bridge Street and then it'll be a case of comply Parliament Square. Absolutely round with tourists around Parliament Square at the moment, their left broad sanctuary past Westminster Abbey on the left and then we just sit in Victoria Street and follow it all the way up towards the station lots of roadworks on the right I'm stuck in one lane and I will jump into that bus lane on the left that will get me to Victoria Station so forward and sit down on left thanks very much don't forget your top your jacket you'll need that all right Okay, yeah, don't forget your jacket. Um, so I'll have to return that to last property and that would be a pain. Job number nine, quite straightforward, Waterloo Station to Victoria Station. Gets me back over the bridge. Um, nice little job, heading up Grosvenor Gardens now. Let's try and get into double figures for job number 10. Ambled my way up through Belgravia until I hit Pond Street and then... Let's see where job number 10 is going. Hi. Selfridges? Ah uh, yes, my second Selfridges of the day. 400 Oxford Street, U-turn Pond Street and then just keep going, hit the lights and then forward Chesham Place, amble our way into Belgrave Square, comply Belgrave Square, bear left onto Grosvenor Crescent. Traffic's really good here at this time of day, don't know why. It can really be hit and miss in Grosvenor Crescent. One minute's absolutely chock block, the next minute empty. Comply High Park Corner. Park Lane looks empty, so I headed up there. I know I've got that bus lane, so it's a mover, and I did keep moving. Just kept going north until I drifted over into the right lane and thought, yep, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of Upper Brook Street here. So do that right, wait at the lights, forward Upper Brook Street. And then Ford Grosvenor Square, yeah, you guessed it, we're going to do the Duke Street drop-off for Selfridges. Left into Duke Street. That was pretty empty as well. Go forward, set down. Okay. Right, job number 10 done. That was Pond Street to Selfridges, 400 Oxford Street. Might as well keep going. It's buzzing at the moment. Um, maybe do a couple more jobs and let's see how we get on. From there, I headed out onto Oxford Street Park Lane, round the back of the Grosvenor House Hotel and ranked up. 
Right, I'm going to make job number 11, the final job of the day. I'm at the Grosvenor House Marriott on Park Street. The rank here, just one cab in front of me. You never know, I might get a flyer that will take me home. Fingers crossed. Well, let's see. I am being called in to the Marriott. Now, this is the entrance on the Park Street side. Looks like there's lots of luggage. Will it be? the flyer that I need to get home. Fingers crossed, or will it be Paddington Station? Hi there. Heathrow Terminal 3. Three, yeah, okay. Well, would you believe it? Left Park Street, left Upper Grosvenor Street. That really was a touch. Getting a run out to Heathrow for my last job of the day. Left onto Park Lane. Now, the reason I love getting a flyer at the end of the day is because I live in West London, Ealing. So it's always a fantastic get home job for me. Heading down south towards High Park Corner, we'll comply High Park Corner. Checking my electric and range extender to see if I've got enough to get me out to the airport, which I have plenty. And then leave by Knightsbridge. Forward Knightsbridge, we're not going past Harrods here because it's absolutely chock-a-block. Bear right Knightsbridge and then it's going to be forward Kensington Road. Before I get to the lights at Exhibition Road, it's going to be a left and a right Prince's Gate. Left Exhibition Road, right Prince Consort Road. Head straight to the end of Prince Consort Road, left onto the Queen's Gate and look for that right turn at the end onto the Cromwell Road. Now I'm on the airport road. There's no left and right turns from here until we get to the airport. So Ford Cromwell Road, past the Marriott on the left, and then past the Cromwell Hospital on the right until we hit the lights at the Earl's Court Junction. After the Cromwell Road, we move neatly into the West Cromwell Road, heading towards West Kensington Station on our left. The lights there really do hold up the traffic here. We need to wait maybe five to six minutes before we get through those lights and then we get neatly onto the Tailgarth Road. Staying in the right two lanes because those are going to take us up onto the Hammersmith flyover. Stay in the right lane and up we go onto the Hammersmith flyover, Novotel on the right. Now it's five o'clock in the afternoon, so I am dealing with quite a bit of traffic here, making my way slowly but steadily up to the Hogarth roundabout. I prefer to stay in the right lane here, ready for my right turn onto the Cedars Road. So this is the Great West Road I'm on at the moment and ebbing my way slowly but surely towards the Hogarth roundabout. On the left we have the very famous Fuller's Brewery and on certain days you can smell the beer being brewed there and it's absolutely divine. So we've hit the Cedars Road Heading towards the airport, staying in the right-hand lane. No right turn onto Sutton Court Road for me. Just waiting to get through those green lights. And once I get through those green lights, I can make sure I stay in the two right-hand lanes because I'm going to be vaulting up to the Chiswick flyover. Now, this flyover, I can tell you, will not be great at this time of day. Quarter past five, heading out of London, rush hour. Both lanes will be full and also there's a feeder coming up from the Great West Road underneath me that also slows down the traffic halfway along the Chiswick flyover. So we just keep going from here. That's all you can do. I'm staying in the right hand lane until the Chiswick flyover suddenly decides it's going to drop down onto the M4 and we see the national speed limit come into view. And off we go, we can go at 70 miles an hour. From here in real time, it's only about eight minutes to the airport as you're really traveling. So I'm looking for junction four, head over the flyover junction three, stay in the left lane, get to junction four, keep staying in the left lane. That will neatly take us round towards the Heathrow Spur all the way down the Heathrow Spur until we get to the Heathrow Roundabout at the end, past the Emirates plane on the right, through Tunnel Approach. Stay in your lane for the right terminal. It's clearly marked 
on the roads. Follow that all the way around to Terminal 3 and then I can neatly sit down on left. So, great finish for me. I did get that flyer out of the Marriott Grosvenor House, Park Street, up here to Terminal 3. So a great finish. I live in West London. It's an easy get home for me. Today, 11 jobs, four rank jobs. The rest were off the street. It was a good day for a Monday. No app work and no paying commission to free now. So if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, see you back here.